Hello and welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club. I'm your host, Gabe Peterson, and this is the place investors go to gain actionable advice, learn about current market trends, and hear war stories from other professional investors out there in the field today. Before we get started, I have two quick housekeeping items for you. First, if you like this episode, we would very much appreciate a like, subscribe, and share. It is the best way to support the show and keep it running far into the future. Second, if you're a new investor looking to get started in real estate or an experienced investor looking to take your investing to the next level, I've created an ebook just for you that will cover how to find deals that are actually deals, how to finance those deals with little to no money down, and how to exit those deals for maximum value. On top of that, I throw in an insane amount of free bonuses that you'll have access to once you buy the ebook. All I charge is our admin costs to keep this show running. So if you're serious about real estate investing and want to create both active and passive income as an investor, head on over to the website at therealestateinvestingclub.com and click on the button that says, get the ebook in the upper right-hand corner to grab yourself a copy. With that said, let's dive right in. Today, we have a very special guest with us ready to drop some investor knowledge on you. So buckle up, grab your pen and paper and enjoy the ride. All right, we are back with another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club Daily Deal Review. We have Tom and Michelle, uh-oh, Gendron, Gendron. Yes. Ah, yes, there we go, <laughs> second time. Tom and Michelle Gendron uh, with us. We, they were just on an episode right behind this one. So if you guys want to hear about house hacking with a, new, a budding family, check out it. Check it out one episode behind this one for their full episode but today they're here to talk about their deal. Um, so Tom, Michelle, again, thank you for helping on to this one and tell us where was this property located? Thanks, thanks again for having us. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is, it's located in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Fort Wayne, Indiana, and this was uh, out of state, right? Correct, yeah, we're in Sacramento. So, Perfect, yeah. I love it. Um, so what about Fort Wayne? I know you already went into it in the last episode, but, um, real briefly, what about Fort Wayne got your attention? Why'd you want to invest there? Uh, the population's been increasing rapidly. There are a lot of businesses moving in and staying there. A lot of hospitals. Um, the crime rate is super low. Uh, it's just, it's a very family friendly city and, uh, just seemed like a great place to invest. Perfect, I love it. Um, next question, how'd you guys go about finding this property? Kind of funny story with this one. Uh, I was reading a Brandon Turner book and uh -huh. uh, in this book, he mentioned some ways to find deals. And one of them was, hey, just go look in your local newspaper under the ads. So I put the book down, I went to the Fort Wayne ads online, it was like a two line, super little blurb. I'm selling my house for 25,000. Call this number. And I <laughs> called it and we were under contract that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And he dropped the price like $5,000 right off the bat when I, I called him. And, you know, I don't think he was very, um, well, I don't think he was very computer savvy, like through the whole process, he needed to like physically sign things and whatnot. Um, and so I don't think he had had any calls. I don't, I don't think people really look at the ads. So there's a, there's a tidbit to take away from this. That's, that's actually not what I was going to say is like, I don't think I have heard, you're the first person that has ever done that, that I've heard of. So I'm sure there's a, there's great deals out there for anybody yeah. who's, who's looking to find a new way to market. <laughs> awesome. So, uh, so how'd you guys go about pricing? It sounds like, you know, you, you saw it in the paper for 2,500. How'd you go about analyzing it and uh, ensuring that this was a deal? Yeah, I started from working my way backwards. So uh, the goal for this property was to uh, do the Burr method. And so I started by figuring out what the ARV, the after repair value would be. And uh, I did that by looking at comparable houses on that street that have sold within you know the past couple of months and uh, found, found that it should be between like the, the like 40,000 to $45,000 range. Um, all fixed up. So uh -huh. started there, worked our way backwards, got him down to uh, a number that 
um, seemed reasonable for the amount of work that needed to be done, got a contractor in there. He gave us his estimates, got a few contractors in there. Also had some uh, trustworthy boots on the ground with our property manager and our agent. And uh, he was with us through the whole process. Um, like we'd mentioned, it's out of state. So we weren't physically there. We got a lot of pictures and videos and uh, we trusted our team. And because of that, the process doesn't take nearly as much time as it would if you were buying a property right down the street from you. So that is a, a great lesson from this too. Yep. Yeah, the, the big things I heard there was relationships and team, which is so crucial when you're investing yeah. out of state. You have to have people in your corner who are who you can trust and who you know is going to give you good estimates, um, good feedback, and just good information generally. Because you know if you're not there, you're not going to be able to get it. So I'm glad you guys found that when you were chasing this one down. Um, which goes into the next question. You found it. You, you got comps, decided on a value. You found a team. You got your property manager out there asking questions about what the probably rental values are, what the area is like, all that kind of stuff. Got some good bids. And then how'd you go about actually financing the deal? Yeah, like we mentioned before, it's crucial that we were on board together through this whole process. And we financed it by using a home equity line of credit on our primary residence in California. and. Um, I was very skeptical of doing that just because of the way I grew up and my advice from my parents and things like that. And so, uh, but trusting in Michelle and this process to say, go ahead and use that. And so, yeah, we bought it cash with a home equity line of credit. Nice. And yeah, I'm sure, you know, having never gone through that process before using a HELOC had to have been stressful. So yeah. you guys took the leap, you jumped into it. Um, so you, you bought it and then it sounded like you had quite a bit of value you had to add. What did you do to do value out here? Uh, we did a lot of things. It was, it was a complete remodel. Uh, I mean, it, it was, was like a it gut. Was gut to the studs type Ooh. of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The roof to roof um, exterior. Um, took down a chimney, um, moved a, out exterior moved a door, door, moved an exterior door. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy when you get those, uh, the ones that need a lot of love. I remember one of the first flips that I did, there was, they're literally just a hole through the house, like from yeah. the yeah. exterior <laughs> all the way to the back. I was like, what the hell? How, why is this here? Yeah. How did this happen? <laughs> I know. <laughs> awesome. All right. So you financed it. Um, you got your, your HELOC and then you did full gut rehab. Um, did you use a GC or did you sub this out? I'm sure GC because you're out of state. Yeah, well, we worked with our, our property manager who oversaw the GC, contractors. GC. So yeah. he was oh, okay. actually technically a GC. He was a GC, yeah. He was a GC, Tom says. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our property manager managed the GC, yeah. There you go. Nice. That's great. That's a, that's a good deal there. Um, and so, I mean, you don't have to have exact numbers, but on the exit, I don't know if you still own this, but what were the numbers going into it and then your projected exit? Yeah, so so we purchased it for nineteen thousand five hundred. We put twenty thousand dollars of repair into it, and um, you, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that uh, where the purchase price is less than the uh, rehab, rehab. cost. <laughs> um, but I felt confident in the numbers. It also gave us so much experience, um, and I mean. Yes, $40,000 is a lot, but compared to uh, trying to do that in California for 600,000, 40,000 isn't that big of a deal. So <laughs> um, it was a really good like stepping stone up to the next things that we were planning on doing and our goals. Mm -hmm. So um, it, it ended up appraising for 42,000 and we found an amazing lender who then gave us a refinance of 85% loan to value. Okay. Um, so we were able to get a loan for 35,700 leaving, you know, 5,500 in the deal. Nice. I love and it. That's and like a 50% 50, 50 cash on cash return. Very nice. And you, it's still in your portfolio. It's rented. Yep. You guys are experiencing the cash flow there. Yeah. Yeah. It's been great. The renter's been there ever since 2019. And it's actually in an area of Fort Wayne that is now booming. And it wasn't, it was in the path of 
progress. Is that how they say it? You know, like you like, of development. Yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. So it wasn't in the best, best area, but I knew that there was going to be development going on right around there. And that's exactly what's been happening. So perfect. I love it. Yeah. All right, moving on to the next question. And uh, I mean, every deal you do, you always learn something. I'm a big blurry mess on YouTube right now. But, um, what was the biggest lesson that you learned going through this process? There's probably two big lessons. Well, more than that. But anyways, um, the contractor almost didn't complete the job. Uh, hmm. Almost walked. We And so uh, Michelle had a great idea to have um, to pay like a like a young like a teenager hourly to go stay stand at the property and make sure they're working on it so that, <laughs> that sounds a little weird like it was no, through that, a property yeah, manager it, like our property manager awesome. <laughs> yeah sorry our property <laughs> manager knew somebody that you know could work hourly and so he hired a like a teenager to go there and make sure that the contractor's getting the work done yes <laughs> <laughs> i like yeah. how it sounded before but no, that is <laughs> yeah <laughs> that it is was genius <laughs> Yeah, I've, uh, I've never heard it of worked, someone doing that. Yeah, it, it worked really well because I was hearing reports of, oh, there's only like one guy working on the house today and it was supposed to be done like a month ago. Um, and, oh, they're taking cigarette breaks all the time. Well, who's there to, to keep them accountable? Well, right. I was our property manager wasn't going to be able to stay there. He had other things he needed to do. So he had somebody who could sit there and um, yeah. just keep an eye on things and it actually did the trick. It did the trick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Even, even a teenager, you know, all you got to have is one person there and, uh, and yeah. you know, guys will get to work. I love right. it. Yep. All right. Well, that concludes the daily deal review for, so Tom, Michelle, thank you guys again for hopping on the show today. <laughs> thank, thank you for you so having much. us. And again, if you guys missed their full episode, check one episode behind this. Um, they go deep into building a business with with a growing family and also house hacking. Um, so check that out, one behind this. Other than that, thank you guys again for showing up on the show. We do this for you. So we appreciate having you here. If you have any questions, reach out to realestateinvestingclub.com. Outside of that, I hope you guys have a great week as always and keep rocking real estate. I will see you on the next episode. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode as much as I enjoyed putting it on and were able to pull some actionable advice that you can apply in your own investing today in the field. Before you go, we have a gift for you. If you're a new investor looking to get started or an established investor looking to invest, take your investing to the next level. I've created an ebook just for you available on our website. This ebook, ebook will cover how I was able to create both active and passive income in real estate with very little money to start with. In it, I will address the three most often cited obstacles new and veteran investors run into by showing you how to find deals that are actually deals, how to finance a deal with little to no money down, and how to exit those deals for maximum value. And if you get the ebook today, I am throwing in a bundle of bonuses, seven of them to be exact. The first one will be the off-market lead generation blueprint, which will take you through the exact systems and processes we use to generate off-market leads like, clock, like clockwork, which is the most important skill when it comes to creating wealth in real estate. The second bonus is the A to Z REI systems and vendors guide, which will allow you to peek under the hood of our business and see the exact tools, systems, and even the vendors we use to see the success that we do. And the third bonus is the top 100 best performing keywords pack, which is which will give you the exact keywords we use to target motivated sellers online using PPC ads. The fourth bundle is, or the first fourth bonus is our contracts bundle for wholesaling and renting real estate, which will give you access to all the contracts we use in the field to execute all different types of transactions. After that is the investor's quick analysis calculator and offer tool, which will allow you to quickly calculate whether a deal is an actual deal and will allow you to create an offer automatically with, from those calculations. This is a lot of uh, a lot of bonuses that I said. I'm just going to keep going down the list. Number six is the investor's daily success tracker, which is a tracker you can use to ensure you are taking the right actions day in and day out to reach your financial goals in real estate. And the last bonus is the wholesalers template for quick assignment cash, which will give you the templates we use to present our wholesale deals professionally and efficiently to our buyers. Whew, that is a bundle. So 
It's a mouthful. You get all of those bonuses for free when you download the ebook. All we charge is the admin cost to run the show. So if you're interested in the ebook and the bonus bundle, head on over to the website at therealestateinvestingclub.com. Click on get the ebook bundle at the top of the page to take advantage of that deal. And with that said, I hope you have a fantastic day and even better week. Keep rocking real estate. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.